Port Control. This is Odyssey. This is Harbour Control. We have permission to proceed. Wish you a very good luck. We need to really understand what the connectivity is between the, the shallower depths to the deeper depths to really manage our resources forward. been successful we will have collected information about the deep sea in a systematic way for the very first time but we will also have been able to share that um, with our Maldivian colleagues so then together we can build a more equitable and inclusive ocean for the future. When the Maldives president joined us on the mission he made it very clear to us that the data that we're gathering using cutting-edge technologies is essential to help inform the creation of vast new marine protected areas. More protection leads to more fish, and more fish strengthens both food security and the Maldivian economy. We would like to know what attracts tuna to this seamount and what keeps them aggregated around this seamount. The summit is 300 meters from the surface all the way down to 1500 meters at the base. But what we found is a feature that's about 15 nautical miles in circumference. I will say it's a huge success. We have gathered a lot of information that we wouldn't otherwise would be able to achieve in a short time we are starting to form um, a lot more regional collaborations as well as um, outside of this region. So that was the greatest thing, I think, about the knowledge exchange. Science eventually becomes knowledge. So the knowledge should be shared to the wider community. Um, during this, this expedition, we've answered a lot of questions we've had, but we've also been able to lay out the foundation to ask a lot more questions that we've been wanting to ask but haven't had any chance to investigate. Knowledge obviously will help us to protect it because then we know which areas we need to protect, which areas we need to manage properly and also how we manage um, development of tourism as well as fisheries sector. We found the trapping zone at about 500 meters depth. Uh, this is a zone where fish migrating from the surface at dawn are trapped against the seafloor. And they uh, create a food source for predators which are resident at that depth. So this is acting as a, an oasis, if you like, an otherwise very large ocean desert. And this is what's generating a biological hotspot effect within Maldivian waters. In fact, at 500 metres, there is particularly vibrant life. Larger numbers of animals, but also larger diversities. So now we're particularly intrigued at this depth. Why is this occurring? And that's our critical question that we need to ask next, is why are we seeing the patterns that we've observed on this expedition? And that will enable us to understand that deep ocean in so much better terms. This mission is um, itself very successful, and they have already found um, a lot of uh, new things about the Maldives, the mapping of the seamount in Huadu was a um, really important piece of work. And I think also the scientists hypothesizing that uh, the Maldives itself is acting like a trapping zone. I think this is a um, very important uh, discovery.
came here at the invitation of the President and the government to work with and on behalf of the Maldives. And when you explore these unknown depths, you're always going to find something that's unexpected. And I think we've just done that. I think we've found something very unusual, an oasis of life down at 500 meters that we certainly weren't expecting. And it's that information, that knowledge that can help inform policies around sustainable governance of this ocean, around its conservation. There are lots more questions to be asked, but this is only the beginning.